Time for a look at the weather. We were on a roll for a day. Is that it? That's it was it? a really nice day today. Nice if we're surprise. gonna get a break, this is the way to get a break. We'll take it. Right? Like, <laughs> here to see what's next. Or do we ask? Okay. Dare we ask? <laughs> no, yeah. this, what's next is gonna be, I think you're even better. Ah. I think Friday's okay. gonna be great. It goes downhill by the time you get to the weekend. So you look outside right now and it's not as bright as it was for some of you earlier today. Yeah, clouds overhead, but they're kind of a thin cloud currently. We are drying out. It's 52 degrees right now. We're drying out because look at the numbers. What we picked up yesterday, I mean, that was a lot of rain. Smithtown picking up three inches of rain. Massapequa, over two and a half inches of rain. Ridgewood, New Jersey, an inch and three quarters. Central Park, an inch and a half. Big dousing of rain that came down heavy out there. And consequently, the rivers have responded. Now, it's not major flood stage for anybody. In fact, it's not moderate flood stages for anybody. We're flirting. We're flirting with minor flood stage around the Still River at Brookfield in Connecticut. The Millstone River also flirting with minor flood stage at Blackwell Mills. We'll keep an eye on those. They want to start coming down, except for the fact that we're now going to be bringing more rain into the picture. Not immediately. First, we get rid of whatever rain we had. A couple of little sprinkles still linger. The farther east you go, the farther south you go. Not too much out there. I'm really not worried about rain for the rest of this night. In fact, look at that. High pressure is going to fill in for your day tomorrow. Friday is the pick of the work week. In fact, it's the pick of the week because Saturday, Saturday's not looking good. We are looking at another chance for rain coming in here. Uh, let's get into everything. I'll show you how this is going to work out. So here we go. Through the overnight hours, we're just fine. Friday, again, Jess was saying, oh, is it going to be good? I think Friday's a great looking day. Get to Saturday now, 9 a.m., clouds have moved in. All right, you start to see the rain nipping at the area. Look at that, maybe a couple of snowflakes nipping at the area well north and west. Yeah, sure, there could be a little bit well north and west, the higher elevated spots. But we're looking at rain at 5 p.m. It's just not the heaviest stuff. We're getting ready to shift gears as you get into late night hours. Look at that rolling over the area at 1130 at night. You, we've been over this drill a thousand times, you and I, right? The green is a light rain. The yellow is moderate rain. The orange is heavy rain. Little flashes of red show you the very heavy rain out there. So there could be some bouts of strong rain, and then it pushes out of the area so it's in and it's out pretty quickly I and mean, here's your picture 7 a.m. on Sunday Sunday's breezy behind that wet weather but it's overall it's just a better looking day so here's how I break things down bookends are the best what does that mean it means just like like the bookends you put at a sack of books the beginning of your weekend and the end of your weekend will be the best so Saturday is not a throwaway day I think you got more clouds out there, but the morning hours, I think you're dry for Saturday. Rain moves in later, and then really it gets nice as you push through your day on Sunday. The rain arrives by Saturday, the afternoon hours. It gets strong Saturday night. It's a quick hit of gusty downpours anywhere from a half an inch to an inch and three quarters of rain. And the winds are maybe about 35 miles per hour. So the graph is suggesting, watch the numbers here. Uh, pretty uniform, right? I mean, an inch, inch point seven for Morristown. Here's your, you know, an inch to an inch and three quarters. The European is more like a half an inch to about an inch of rain. So a little bit lower, but all in all, the takeaway for you should clearly be to have the umbrella ready to go for Saturday. So as we go through everything and make my way to the desk, I'll show you 54 degrees for your day on Friday, the pick of the week. It's not picture perfect sunshine. You've got some clouds out there, especially late as you push through Friday. Then Saturday, we are looking at rain developing, getting stronger as you go through the day. 47 is the high temperature. Sunday, you're 51, the better portion of the weekend. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, not only is sunshine in place, but the temperatures will be climbing up by the time you get to say, you know, say Wednesday and Thursday, pretty warm outside. We've earned that, though, yes. after this week. Paid your dues. You paid your dues. <laughs> More than that. Thanks, Lonnie.